Welcome back, you're watching the Gadgets and Gizmo show with me, Siddharth Sharma. Now, we all look to enhance the sound of our PCs, tablets, TVs, and any gadget that can run video or music, right? And we also look for a budget solution. Well, next up, Sahil Maniktala has found something that might interest you. Check this out. Hey guys, what's up? Today I am very excited because for the first time on this show, I get to review my first ever sound system. This particular sound system is from the house of Intex and it's called the Intex 5.1 Multimedia Sound System, which is priced at 4,299 rupees. And next up, we're going to find out if this black beauty is worth its very generous price. Let's take a look. The new Intex sound system comes with a main woofer unit and five stylish satellite speakers. While the front of the speakers are made up entirely of plastic, they still manage to exude a great finish. The woofer also reflects a similar design and would fit perfectly next to a gaming console. It has a jog dial with LEDs for volume control and a simple LED display to help you figure out the source. But the biggest design feature of the entire system is the LED effects that dominate the woofer box. There are six combinations of lights which change at regular intervals, even when the speaker is not playing anything. At first, the multicolored lights do look quite cool, but after a while, it can become annoying, especially if you're watching a movie. Fortunately, there is a full function remove, which makes life easy. All the necessary ports and plug-in points are placed at the back of the woofer and have been color-coded for convenience. As for sound, you're working with a 4 ohm impedance with a frequency response between 40 to 200 hertz for the main unit and a frequency response between 200 hertz to 20 kilohertz for the speakers. Now I hooked up this bad boy to my personal computer and it became a full-fledged music system, which actually manages to deliver pretty good audio quality. Although at times it was a bit heavy on the bass, but this is something that you can eventually learn to live with. Also, if you place these speakers just right, you'll also get a great surround sound feel while watching movies. So, performance-wise, Intex has actually done a pretty good job with these speakers. The Intex 5.1 also comes with a decent FM player, though you will need to push up the volume to really enjoy the music. You can also play music directly from the USB drive and memory card slot, which is placed on top of the controller box. The audio quality here is very decent and it recognizes almost all file types. Overall, this is a pocket-friendly option if you're looking for speakers to attach to your entertainment console or computer. It's easy to set up, offers good audio quality and looks-wise it's easy on the eye. Although it would have been nice to see a Bluetooth connectivity option, but hopefully Intex will include that in their future models. Now we never have enough battery or balance on our phones, do we? And out of the two, at least the battery issue can be solved. Max Mobile came out with a feature phone and they call it Powerhouse. This one is not a smartphone, but nearly close to it. Take a look. We are definitely in an era of smartphones, but what intrigues us even more is a good feature phone. This is the all-new Max Powerhouse MX200 Leader. It is a feature phone and the cost is just pocket change for many of you out there. But it can easily be your secondary smartphone as well. So let's tell you what it has to offer in terms of specifications. Max Powerhouse sports a 2.4 TFT display and it's not a touchscreen device. Instead, you get physical keys. It is a dual SIM smartphone, has a VGA camera, sports Bluetooth connectivity and connect to the internet via GPRS. You can also expand the memory up to 8 GB. The standout feature of this smartphone is that it houses a 52 mAh battery that will last you a week easily if you're using this phone. But what's even more interesting is that you can use the battery as a power bank to charge your primary phone. So it works as a standalone phone and a power bank. 
Additional features include FM radio that you can listen to without plugging in headphones, auto call recording and LED touch that has a very good throw. All in all, this is a power packed feature phone money can buy right now and it costs 2160 rupees. And at that price you won't even get a power bank, leave alone a smartphone. So the Max Powerhouse MX200 liter is a definite recommendation from us at Gadgets and Gizmos. And with that it's time for us to say goodbye on this edition of Gadgets and Gizmos show. If you have any comments, queries or suggestions, tweet us at HLT Gizmos. You can also email us on hdgg at artstuck.com. We'll see you same time, same place next week. But for all the news and updates, keep watching Headlines Today.